Akuna Matata, my friend. So I'm doing a behind the scenes of a shoot that we're doing, you know, my my friend Delix and myself for your recording. The C70 is gonna be camera A and the EOS R5 is gonna be camera B. And you know that I purchased the filter cooling system. So I'm gonna be using filter cooling system so then I can be able to shoot longer with the Canon EOS R5. We know the Canon EOS R5 when it comes down to overheating. So I'm gonna be recording 4K HQ with that as a, you know, as, as a B camera. So I'm just gonna quickly set up, I already set up the, what it's set up the C70, and I have the C70 uh, with the cage, um, the filter cage, and I have the mud box, and I have the follow focus, and I have the lens 28 to 72, 2.0, f2.0 is in there, so that's gonna be the main cameras, and then I'm gonna be doing just my manual focusing because most most of the thing will be will be interview style and people sitting and then doing the interview. So I'm gonna use manual focus. We know we know the problem with the with the autofocus, so I'm not gonna take a chance uh, with that. So men the most of the thing I'm just gonna do manual focus. And and with the and the EOS R5, I have EOS R5 with an EF lens and with the uh, with the adapter in there. So I have 16 to 35 EF lens f2.8. And what I'm gonna be doing, so I'm gonna use the Atomos Ninja. So I'm gonna be using the Atomos Ninja. So that with the Atomos Ninja, I'll be able to power, I'll be able to power the, the cooling system because the cooling system need the need power. So I have, I have the battery. I'm gonna connect it and then I will connect. And then I connect the filter. Yeah, you can see it's connected. And I can, yeah, I don't know if you can, you can hear it. So that's, that's, the, that's the medium one if you put it high. Yeah, you can hear it. So yeah, now it's so it's working. So with this tilt, with the with the tilt cooling system, so we can shoot with the EOS R5 for very very for very very long. So with the interview that with the shoot that I'm I'm gonna be doing, this will be enough, you know, for uh, for me to cover the whole whole shoot as a B camera, and we have the the C70 as a A camera. So yes, that is um, set. You know, the room that we um where it's very nice. There is, there is um, there is a nice garden here, and I'm just thinking that maybe I'm just going to use the garden as a background, and the talent will be sitting sitting there, facing facing that way, and and the garden will be will be the background. So then, the challenge is that the light will be, I, I mean, the talent will be backlighted. So the good thing with the with the Canon C70 is that with the DGO in the dual gain uh, output, so we still can have the highlight protected and also the shadow as well protected. And also we have 16 dynamic range that when we're editing, we still can play. We still can play with it. So I think that's a perfect. The C70 is a perfect camera, uh, you know, for those kind of for those kind of scenario. So what are, what are we going to be doing? So we're going to set up the room quickly. Mm -hmm. And then after setting up the room, so we're going to call the talent and then we're going to start um, the shoot here. So, you know, keep, um, you know, keep watching. So, I mean, if we face difficulty, if we challenge, we'll keep, keep updating you, All right? All right, so yeah, keep watching. Thank you.
Besides talking Chinese. So I'm, I'm going to be using the built-in ND filter of the, of the C70 because, I mean, if, you know, from, from right now, the background is absolutely blown up. So I'm going to be using, yeah, so far I'm going to be using like a four stop. And then when the talent going to come sit, and then I'm going to be adjusting, uh, adjusting to that. And in, in terms of some filming C log two, I'm filming C log two. Anything else is just fine. ISO is 800 and filming F2. Uh, maybe I'm going to open it a little bit um, later, but you know, when the talent comes sit, so I'm going to decide, I'm going to make this decision on that F2 or anything. And we have, we have 28 to 70 hours. I will see when the talent is going to come sit and then we're going to make that judgment. White balance, I'm just shooting. I'm just going to put an auto. And, and I'm using global um, global shutter. I'm, I'm not using shutter speeds. I'm using global shutter 120, 180. All right, so this camera is set. I need to find a way that I'm going to set up the, the R5. All right, so C70 set, so let's set up the R5. So as, as I said, I'm going to use the R5 as a, as a B camera. So. Um, let me find a nice angle. I'm going to be this side because we have a little bit of book. Um, if Delix can turn the camera, you can see. So we have a little bit of book there. So that's going to be like I'm. Um, yeah, because I want to film like profile inside of the profile of the person. So, so then the book's going to be in the background. So I'm going to set up the R5. Uh, it's around here. All right, let me bring the R5. So that's basically that's the um, that's the tilter tilter cooling system. So I'm just gonna remove open the the screen so, and then put it there. So now. Now the tilt is in contact with uh, with the camera. It will be loose. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah, just quickly, I'm gonna tell you about the tripod that I'm using. Um, for the C70, I'm using the Manfrotto 525MVB. And I think I have that for for many years now is very good, very strong, has a fluid head and is excellent, uh, excellent, excellent tripod. So I always use that in those kind of type of shoot. And for the R5, I'm just using T and F um, concept. So yeah. So guys, the next important thing is the sound so i have my trusted uh, zoom f6 that i will be recording the sound and i have my there's a how is it called diet oh let me it's a german by dino something like that anyway you see, that's the name just there. <laughs> I don't remember how it's, it was called, but you know that I really love this mic microphone. I have it for almost 10 years now, this microphone. So I'm going to connect this microphone with the Zoom F6, and I'm going to use a boom, boom pole, so then I can capture the sound really close to me. All right. So, yeah, I have I have the microphone attached to that, you know, rod pistol. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> try to connect the boom. So we're gonna do it this way. We're just gonna hold it this way, right? Just 
outside of the of the of the frame and you're recording the sound perfectly. I need the <coughs> so here's the cable. We'll connect I'll connect it to to the Zoom F6. So I'm just using this the thing that came with the cable just to tie it so that it will stay stuck with the thing so that it does not make some noise otherwise um, when the cable touching the the frame so you get those noise into the footage and that's not great All right, so that's, you know, just need to connect it to the, you need to connect it to the Zoom F6. You know, the good thing with the Zoom F6 is it has a phantom power as well. So then, you know, the phantom power just, you know, um, powering the microphone. And I have I have the Sony battery uh, attached to the Zoom F6, so so it, there's enough juice for that. It's very much customer. I don't want to use the word dictate, customer centered or survival centered. I think my reaction when I read it, I quickly read it. I felt that uh, it's very much customer. I don't want to use the word victim. Customer centered or survival centered, if I may use that word, survival centered, uh, survival focus, so which for me is a very positive thing to read. You know, everything is detailed into making sure that the customers, the, the survivors, uh, I, I kept in mind yeah, in all the approaches. Oh, guys, so we, we wrap up, that was, uh, that was great. And I mean, we did not have any issue at all and everything just works smoothly and I end up just using the autofocus because you know there's enough light so I did not see any drop in terms of the autofocus hunting so that was uh, that was great now I'm gonna be editing and we'll see so as I said you know the C70 is excellent you know camera Oof. If you have a limited budget and if you want a cinema camera, so that's a camera you need to you need to go because you get everything input. And so as a B camera, we use the EOS R5 with the tilter cooling system, and we did not have any problem of overheating, you know, apart from you know battery just finish. <laughs> so that was also good. So I think you know, that's that's the combination that you know I'm going to be using moving forward. Uh, the EOS R5 with the cooling system and the Canon C70, and you know, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And if you like those type of behind the scene, subscribe. You know, there's more, more, more content that's going to be coming. There's more video. That, I mean, more project that you know we uh, we're working on it. So we share with you, you know, our journey and the struggle and also the successes so thank you very much and you know peace and love akuna matata my friend see you next time yeah bye